Individuality. It's at a premium these days. It's questioned at minimum and all out abolished at max. It's discouraged, not only by the group and its directors, but also by the individual, loath to stand out on a deserted island with nowhere to turn or no one to turn to. With this backdrop, turning inward becomes an unpleasant and unpopular option. Individuality has a paucity of presence because it has been deemed a misfit in a centralized model. And so it is determined that to seek and get approval to either join the group or to be an independent personality, that's what's necessary to be okay with who you are. The self is dwindling drastically. It's melting away. Why is that? Is it society's relentless iron fist that says, oh no, individuality, it's not efficient, nor productive, nor good for the team. After all, we are all one, right? One mission, one idea, one process, one experience, just one, right? Wrong. If one dares to create for himself or design or to innovate his own life, in essence, venture out on a limb or an island to discover the uniqueness and infinitude of experience, one is quickly pulled back onto solid ground, chastised, told to listen to the voice of reason, and then strongly encouraged to join forces with others, because after all, there is power in numbers, right? Well, perhaps. But this is by no means the only equation that works. The power inherent within individuality is a potent force. Pulled together, it's unstoppable. And that may just undermine the team plan. And after all, we can't have that. I remember one day many years ago having a discussion about the true idea of power. When I postulated that true power is not foisted onto the masses by outside authorities, but rather empowered individu individually, that notion was quickly admonished, disavowed, thwarted, without one ounce of contemplation, but rather a mechanical knee-jerk reaction, a reaction taught by outside authority, of course. Power means this, not that. Everybody knows that, this person said. <laughs> the collective, the consensus, no doubt. The group has kidnapped the individual and stripped it of its creation powers, because after all, that would distract from the team the overall victory, right? And we can't have that. So what is one to do? To remember the gift of individuality and understand that this is the key to fully evolving in this experience we call life. Here's a thought. Simply let go. Let go of the collective. Let go of the consensus. Let go of the need to be confirmed or validated by others. Let go of the need to be validated for your own life, for your individuality. After all, there is infinity in individuality. There is power in individual presence. There is delight and distinction. And there is success in self. Here's to the individual.